This is Michael Bentley. I've been asked to do a vignette on how to calculate FiO2. Uh, so what we have here are three flow meters which are typically found on an anesthesia machine. And from this we can calculate FiO2s with varying flows in each of these flow meters. So let's get a couple principles out of the way. One thing you have to remember is that for every one liter of nitrous oxide there is zero, absolutely no oxygen. You know, zero oxygen in there. Right? For every one liter of air there is roughly 210 mLs of oxygen in there. Why? Because air is composed of roughly 21 percent oxygen. And if you take 210 mLs and divide that by 1,000 mLs or 1 liter, that's 21 percent. And then you know, of course, that 1 liter of oxygen has 1 liter of O2 in it, right? One liter is one liter, also known as 1,000 mLs. So, with that being said, let's look at some uh, examples. Let's get rid of this here. So, remember that one liter of nitrous oxide has zero oxygen in it. One liter of air has 210 mLs of oxygen in it and of course one liter of oxygen has one liter or 1000 mLs of oxygen in it. So when we're doing these FiO2 calculations another thing you have to know is your total flow total flow out of your flow meters right so if I have two liters of nitrous oxide, four liters of air, and three liters of oxygen, <clears throat> what's my total flow there? Well, we have three plus four plus two equals nine liters total flow. So with that, what is our FiO2? Well, that's simple. Your FiO2 is going to equal your total mLs of oxygen over your total mLs of flow. We already said that we had 9 liters total flow. So our FiO2 is going to be something over 9,000. 9 liters is 9,000 mLs. Now, let's figure out how much oxygen we have in our air and in our oxygen. Because we already said that nitrous oxide has no oxygen in it. So we have four liters of air, and I said for every liter of air, you had 210 mLs of oxygen. So four times 210, right, O2 in air, equals 840 mLs. So that's what we have in our four liters of air. And we also have three liters of oxygen. And that's 3,000 mLs of oxygen. And so our total oxygen is this, 80, 840 mLs plus 3,000 mLs, which is equal to 3,840 mLs of oxygen. Now when we do this calculation, pull out my calculator here, we can roughly guess that our FI, just by looking at it, you can roughly guess that your FiO2 is somewhere between 
point f or somewhere around point four is what I would gather. But let's just double check this. So if we take three thousand eight hundred and forty and we divide it by nine thousand, we see that our FiO two is equal to point zero point four two six seven. So our FiO2 is 0.427 roughly and that means our percent of oxygen is roughly 42.7 percent. I hope this helps in your calculations of FiO2.